Well, with temperatures on a high this week, a nice refreshing dessert will certainly what's hit the spot with I you already. You can't, put, you can't put this in front of us. <laughs> Captain Layden has just a trick as she's whipping up her summer fruit crumble. Oh. You cannot put this in front of us and not ask us to eat Rumble, it, so I'm Catherine. eating it. They won't even wait till I'm finished making this. Oh. oh, it smells good as well, That's doesn't it? And you've got the custard as well, Catherine. Custard and custard cream. cream. I have a cup of tea. I'm happy here, Catherine. Off good. you go. Off I go now, right. <laughs> I'm talking about heat. The heat's beating off me here at the moment, I can tell you. Are you no. not enjoying it? Is it too hot for you? Well, it's, no, I, I, it is a bit hot, actually, I have to be honest, yeah. yeah. I used to love the heat, but... Actually, we're all in the same boat. We can't be given out. It's lovely. I know, no, I it could love be lashing I love rain. It. I love it, yeah. But I'm sorry, I'm just tucking away here. I have you to worked away there, Now, 175 grams, six ounces of our porridge oat flakes. I find the oats give a nice nuttiness to the crumble. Now, you can use all flour just. You know, you can replace the six ounces of, of oats with flour, but I use a combination of both. Would you use then it's not a crumble? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, that's not... Not, not, for, not, for, okay, a crumble. not for a crumble. So, okay. 175 grams, six <laughs> ounces of oats. 125 grams, four ounces of our cream plain flour. We just mix that together. Then we're going to add 175... Sorry, 125, oh. four ounces of our demerara sugar. So, all the dry ingredients into the mixing bowl, and we just combine those together. And then you simply make the crumble. This is really, really simple. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at Catherine telling me off for not putting biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> do not put biscuits in a crumble. Are... Do not put yeah. biscuits in a crumble. Sorry, do not ask you questions, do Catherine. Not ask, right. Do okay. not ask silly questions to Catherine Layton, the queen of baking. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'd use, you'd use a biscuit-based tummy for cheesecake. Yes, of course. You're yeah. getting the cheesecake yeah. mixed up, right, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and um, now, of course, the softer the butter, the margarine is, the quicker you're going to get the mixture blended together. Now, you just use the tips of your fingers and you just keep rubbing until the mixture resembles breadcrumbs. And I have in the bowl here beside me, I have a Pyrex dish, oven-proof dish, and in there I have cooked... Eight ounces, 225 grams of cooking apples with a little sugar, and 225 grams, eight ounces of rhubarb. Beautiful. So, now, if you want to cook them, or stew them as we're, do we're doing it, stew them in the saucepan, you just chop them, and add a tablespoonful of water, and put them take, over low heat, only a few minutes. But, it's much quicker if you actually put it into a microwave. You just chop your rhubarb, add some sugar, into the microwave for about seven minutes. Halfway through, give it a stir, and you get lovely. And the apples as well. Put the rhubarb and apples no, in, put no, in the microwave. Good, good. Or the apples berries. first, or the rhubarb first. What about the berries? And then we're going to put them in fresh. Oh, they're in fresh then, yeah. okay. So the apples and the rhubarb are stewed with a bit of sugar there. And now to that, we're going to add our fruit. I have some red currants some blueberries and some raspberries. See, I'm taking that the blueberries blueberries are known as superfoods and good fruits, so I'm taking that this is part of my five a day now. Well, it is Correct. your five a day, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Sorry, Catherine, now the two of us are just milling this You here. could cut down the bit. porridge as well. And the sugar and yeah. porridge as well, exactly. You could do as your breakfast. Your fibre, yeah. Now, just combine those together. So you've got your stewed apple and your stewed rhubarb and you've got your fresh fruit. Now, as I said, you can use just all rhubarb, you can use all apple. But you have to use one or the other with this fruits. It doesn't work that well with just fresh fruit, okay? All right. Now, you simply shake your crumble over the top, and that's the consistency of it. Now, it depends. That's actually quite simple then, Catherine, isn't it? Really simple. Yeah. Really and truly one of the simplest things you can make, and it's really popular. Mm. Now, what I generally do... Really tasty. To be honest, I might as well tip it all in there while we're at it. Now, what I generally do, if I'm making the crumble, I treble the recipe, and then I use a third for my crumble to go into the oven, and then I keep the rest in a plastic bag in the fridge. So if you come across your apples or your rhubarb, you just make them up, stew them. Make another one. Put your crumble on top and into the oven. Okay. Now, this bakes at 190, 375, gas mark 5, for about 30 to 35 minutes. And we have one in the oven, so we're going to put... So, and it's nice and brown on the top. You see it? now, this one light coming out now, yeah. Oh, oh lovely. Oh, look, look at, at that. that, yeah. How is ours really hot as well? Had you got another one in there before? I had. Mm. To have it ready nice and hot for you. Oh, it's, it's absolutely... <laughs> I see um, 
it hasn't spilled out there, Catherine, but how do you make sure that it's not kind of the fluid underneath doesn't pour over the bottom, like doesn't yeah, pour that, in the oven? That will happen, Tommy. Oh, well, well. If you haven't got a big enough Pyrex dish. Okay. Now, I just got away with it here with yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. So do you know what to do, Tommy? Have a big enough dish. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, that yeah. One. And not put biscuits in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one is much larger. And only, excuse me, only comes up halfway long. But at least you're guaranteed your juice won't spill out. Okay, so an extra big dish then. An extra Perfect. big dish. And there we go. Couldn't be easier, That's, could it? And, go and on, cut delicious. into it there again. Let's have a look. Do you want more of it? Uh, yeah, I'd love another. another. Not, not that hot one. You wouldn't be able to eat that hot one. Which one do you want? This one, this one this is too hot. Look at that. Do you want more? Uh, yeah, go on. We'll have more. Oh, we should give you some more. So, Captain, very simple, very lovely, simple. summary dish. Yep. And lovely you know, to come around. You're having people over in your garden or something like that to come out with that after you do your little barbecue and it's a or dead whatever. Dead simple dessert. Do you know what would have been good with this as well? Not I, that the custard. Collins, all ice, all Collins ice cream. Collins ice cream would have been, been perfect for it, it, except it's dripped all it's over my. It's melted. It was actually in my hair. I saw it going on your shoes. I don't know how shoes. it went by hair. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> so Catherine, you'd serve this like we have custard oh, and cream that. here. Custard, cream, I love or a ice bit cream. of custard. Ice, yeah, yeah or ice cream, cream at the moment. So you, can't beat, you can't beat the custard, though, she can't. Oh, no, it's that's real comfort the thing. food. It's real and comfort food. And next week, Look we're making that. an yeah. even. No, not. Depends what you like. We're making a banoffee next week. Oh, I love an albanoffee. Do you like an albanoffee? Ah, very good. Catherine, yeah, as perfect. always, a pleasure. My Thank pleasure. you so much Thank for that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. Catherine. Cheers. Laura's outside. Laura, what have you got for us? Is it too much to ask you guys to save some for me? Catherine, no, would you hide a bowl? No. Of course, we have a big bowl for you. We We're have the custard, we have the cream, we have everything. We have a big you. bowl, but not big enough. <laughs> Next Thanks. time. Yeah. I know. I'll share it with and Heather. Good and Pyrex bowl is what you need. And don't put biscuits in it. Yeah. Okay, too much information. Hang on, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> After the break, we're going to advise, have advice, excuse me, on how to stay hydrated and keep up our energy levels over the next few weeks with nutritionist Heather Leeson. See you in a few minutes.